Hi guys, I have been using this router already and thought of giving a long term review on the Xiaomi Redmi AC2100 dual band router. Let me quickly run the specs here for this device. But before we start, please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support motivates me. So it comes in this white box with the image of the product on the front and some specs written all over, typical for any Xiaomi product. So you are getting an Ethernet cable which you might use to set up the device. However, you can do that easily using Wi-Fi 2. Then you get the router itself in this bag, your usual documentation and the power brick. That's all in the package. The router is quite light in weight and is completely made of plastic. There are six external antennas to the device. The design is quite interesting and definitely looks cool. The device is quite big in size, measuring in at 259 mm by 176 mm. Coming to the ports, it starts with the reset hole followed by the power input port, 1 gigabit WAN and 3 gigabit LAN ports. The top and bottom of the device contains very nice vents for heat dissipation easily. There are two LEDs on the front, the bottom one for power and the top one for indicating internet access. So let me quickly show how to set up the device through the app. Download the MI Wi-Fi app from Play Store or your App Store. Then connect the Wi-Fi with the device name. Here it looks like this. The network is open and need no password to set up. On opening the app, you need to select set up a new router. It will connect to the internet. Depending on your network, you might need to change some settings to get connected to the internet. Like if you have a static IP provided by your ISP, you need to put those settings in by going to more options page and set it right. Once done, click next and put your desired Wi-Fi name and password for the Wi-Fi and admin web page. Okay, so your router is successfully set up and your network will get disconnected. Now you need to reconnect to your network using the password that you just set up onto your new SSID. Your network is now ready to use. You can set it up and forget it for the most part. However, if you need some advanced controls, you need to make an MI account and sign in with it. You would see your router there and can control many advanced features from there, even remotely. Here are some quick speed tests on some different circumstance.
here are some pros and cons which I found. The pros are number one looks pretty cool and the Wi-Fi range is very good. I could catch the Wi-Fi signals to my phone even above three floors. It supports the Wi-Fi 5 GHz standard with combined speeds of 2000 megabits per second. All the ports are gigabit. It supports 160 megahertz channel for Wi-Fi signals in 5 gigahertz band. It has a decent 128 MB RAM and the processor is from MediaTek MT7621A dual core CPU. It supports two stream multi input and multi output. The cons are it is not a Wi-Fi 6 router but still a very good one and one of the fastest Wi-Fi AC routers out there. I have also installed OpenWRT and SSWRT on this device as it is supported. So if you want to know about that comment down below I will make a separate video on it. This is Avik signing off. Have a good day.